need you to move off the property, please. Okay. Private well, property. Sure. Uh, it's we a public sidewalk. Oh, yeah, we are cooperating. Thank you. Right onto the sidewalk. Yeah, there's no implication yeah. that we aren't uh, cooperating. Right onto the sidewalk. Okay. Stay there, please. Sure, yeah, thank you. Great. Uh, Jim, Jim has some questions for you. Again, I need you to stay right on the sidewalk. Yeah. Thank you very much. We actually checked with the city. The property line's actually right here. Also, that's good. Property line's actually right here. We are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis, and the nations will accept the new world order. David Rockefeller. We saw David Rockefeller and uh, the car in black at the, uh, beyond the hotel, and they have no, had no bodyguards. One of my friends shouted, hey, Rockefeller, and he turned back, uh, and he uh, was uh, afraid. <laughs> My name is Rene. I'm from uh, Manitoba. Drove about 26 hours to get here, uh, just to show my uh, that I'm against the Bilderbergers, just to fight for my freedoms, fight for my rights, uh, make sure that my children can grow up uh, in a free country. My name is Daniel Lestule, and uh, I've been uh, doing this for the last 15 years. Uh, I'm from Canada. I'm very proud of my country because, uh, as you can see, there are a lot of people covering the Bilderberg Conference. Last year. Uh, it took me 14 and a half hours to get to uh, Munich. I was pulled off the plane in Milan. I was pulled off the plane in Munich. They interrogated me four hours in both places. I was able to call a friend, a journalist in, uh, in Rome, as a result of his presence and others, calling the Foreign Ministry Department in Italy. They backed off and they let me go. They basically told me that they'll keeping an eye on me 24 hours of the day. Uh, the little hotel where we were staying at, Jim and I, out of the 20 rooms, six were occupied, three by the CIA and three by the uh, German Secret Service. Uh, that's how serious these people are, and that's how afraid they are of actually what we may be able to reveal and what we actually do reveal publicly about the Bilderberger intents. Daniel Estelin has covered the Bilderberg meetings in Europe and North America for more than 15 years. His book, Club Bilderberg, has been translated into more than 20 languages and is a global bestseller. Estelin has photographed many past Bilderberg meetings. Rockefeller frontman Henry Kissinger is always a key participant. Here you see the president of the CFR, Richard N. Haas, followed by vice chairman of Rothschild Europe, Franco Barnaby, who is speaking with Henry Kravitz. And behind them is Richard Holbrook, former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. The head of Daimler Chrysler, Jürgen Erik Schrimp, arrives by helicopter. Here, the owner of the Washington Post, Donald Graham, escorts Indra Nui, the head of PepsiCo. Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, whose father, Prince Bernhard, founded Bilderberg, is a leading figure in the group. Of course, globalist kingpin David Rockefeller, seen here with his bodyguard, James Ford, always attends. The then newly appointed World Bank Chief Paul Wolfowitz is photographed at Bilderberg 2005. It has been reported that Wolfowitz had attended previous meetings while still the Deputy Secretary of Defense, a violation of the Logan Act. Under the Logan Act, it is a felony offense for any member of the federal or state government to meet with members of a foreign government without the express authority and authorization of the President or Congress. Put simply, it is illegal for members of the government to meet secretly behind closed doors with foreign power brokers due to the problems of corruption and espionage that it breeds. For this reason, many prominent politicians attend, but their names do not appear on the official list. Despite the Logan Act, the governor of New York's name, George Pataki, does appear on the list, and we were able to catch the governor on tape walking with David Rockefeller at Brook Street. Multiple staff members inside Brook Street reported to us that Hillary Clinton attended for half a day. Several armored limos with diplomatic plates did arrive with police escorts and offloaded their passengers in the underground parking garage out of the sight of the press. Former World Bank President James Wolftonson sardonically stared at our cameras. You think they're upset about the fact that they're being exposed? 
Well, I'm sure they are. I mean, look at the tinted windows. Uh, they, they don't want to be seen. They don't want even anybody to know they're here. So I'm sure they're ticked, you know, and that's why we're here to try to expose them. Do you think if they were angry that they were on the front page of the local paper today, you think they're in there reading it right now, Jim? Uh, yes, but I don't think they're happy about it. They prefer nothing at all, no publicity. They pr prefer absolute secrecy. Yeah, you better look away. We're not your slaves. You don't own me. Did you get a list of the FNDs and everything? Or no, uh, no, I've asked for one under a slight variation of my name, and I don't know if I'll get it or not. Also, it could happen today. For the last three years, I get back to the hotel. And there's a copy there waiting for you. For the somebody who does not identify himself. The, I mean, uh, I really, I'm not just not revealing the source. I don't know the source myself. Uh, but a fact, because uh -huh. they want the Bilderberg letterhead on it, and it makes a nice memento. Perfect. Alex? Yeah. That's Chalabi, eh? You think Chalabi? No, 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 I don't think. I know. It looked like Chalabi, and it was a fat, fat guy. Yeah. That was Ahmed Chalabi? Yeah. Oh, my God. Then they're really going to attack Iran. Uh, over the last couple of years, they've been reeling with the amount of leakage that they've been experiencing, so it's getting harder and harder. But again, it will never get too hard for us because of the sources that we have inside are top-notch sources. People who are actually working for them, the Secret Service, the second layer, uh, people in the Bilderbergers, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, the clerks, the, uh, the administrative office, they are there. They, you know, they are our eyes and ears, and uh, every time there's something out, we always get the information. That's uh, Francisco Pinto Valsamal. I think that's the queen. You see her? Yes. Oh my God. Look at What usually happens uh, these.